Today, we'll discuss Oumuamua, an interstellar object that traveled through our solar system in 2017 and prompted widespread conjecture about its real origin. When scientists first noticed Oumuamua, they realized it was unlike any meteorite or comet they had ever seen. Its elongated form, reddish color, and odd course indicated that it was an alien spaceship sent to investigate our part of the cosmos by some distant society. The scientific community, predictably, reacted with skepticism and censure to such assertions. Some claimed that Oumuamua was simply a natural object molded by space forces, while others suggested more exotic theories involving dark matter, gravitational waves, or even cosmic strings. Is Oumuamua an extraterrestrial spacecraft or simply a strange rock from another star system? Join us as we investigate the proof, study the hypotheses, and attempt to unearth the truth about this mysterious guest from the stars. Let's commence with a recap of what we know about Oumuamua. Oumuamua was discovered by scientists in Hawaii using the Pan-STARRS telescope. It looked to originate from outside our solar system and was traveling at an incredible pace of around 196,000 miles per hour. Oumuamua flew by Earth without a cometary tail, as would be anticipated if it was composed out of ice and dust. And it had an elongated structure similar to a cigar or pancake. This shape was uncommon for a natural object, prompting some scientists to speculate that it was an alien spaceship sent on a journey to investigate our solar system. However, the alien spacecraft theory soon ran into a number of difficulties. One of the major points of contention was that Oumuamua did not appear to emanate any radio transmissions or other indications of manufactured technology, as would be anticipated if it was a probe from another culture. Furthermore, the object's trajectory appeared to be influenced by the sun's gravity, just like a natural object, which proved against the notion of a propulsion system capable of maneuvering the ship. So. What was a Muamua if it wasn't an extraterrestrial spacecraft? There have been several natural explanations proposed, including the possibility that it was a fragment of a larger object torn apart by the gravity of its parent star, or that it's a comet without a tail, made of solid carbon dioxide that sublimated into gas as it got closer to the sun. Another interesting theory is that a Muamua is a fragment of a planet or moon that was annihilated in a catastrophic impact, ejected into space, and then caught by another star system's gravity. Such interstellar guests are extremely uncommon, but they could help us learn more about the galaxy's beginnings and variety of planetary systems. As we continue to investigate a Muamua and its characteristics, we discover more evidence that it is a natural substance. Recent investigations, for example, have revealed that the object has a very low density, which is compatible with a porous, fluffy structure composed of ice and particles. This would explain why Oumuamua had no observable cometary tail, because the ice would have sublimated into gas by the time that it came near enough to the sun. Another piece of proof comes from Oumuamua's erratic movement through space. The brightness of the object varied drastically as it traveled away from the sun, suggesting that it was spinning quickly and erratically. Aside from these findings, there are several other grounds to question that Oumuamua was an alien spaceship. For one thing, the object's form isn't particularly aerodynamic, making interplanetary travel challenging. Furthermore, given the vastness of space and the numerous obstacles and dangers that such a journey would face, the chances of an alien society dispatching a spacecraft straight towards Earth are extremely low. So, while the notion of Oumuamua being an alien spacecraft is fascinating and captivating, the evidence points to it being a natural object. Having said that, there is still a lot we don't know about interstellar objects, and the finding of Oumuamua has opened up new study and travel opportunities. Furthermore, some experts have suggested alternative theories for Oumuamua's odd characteristics, such as it being a fragment of a bigger object ripped apart by tidal forces. Others have speculated that it could be a dust bunny, which is a cluster of dust particles kept together by electric forces. These theories emphasize the intricacy and variety of the objects that can move through interstellar space, as well as the need for additional observations and research to solve their mysteries. Scientists are also currently contemplating the prospect of sending probes to capture and investigate future interstellar objects that travel through our solar system. Such expeditions could gather data about the object's composition, shape, and behavior using sophisticated tools and methods, allowing us to better comprehend the origins and development of our cosmic neighborhood. Meanwhile, scientists are looking for more interstellar objects with telescopes and scans that monitor the heavens for faint moving spots of light. 
These searches are still in their early phases, but they promise to reveal more secrets and shocks in the vastness of space. While we may never know for certain whether a Muamua was an extraterrestrial spacecraft or a natural object, its short journey to our solar system reminded us of the many marvels and secrets that await us in the universe, as well as the significance of remaining inquisitive, open-minded, and daring as we investigated. That concludes today's video about the enigma of a Muamua. While we may never know whether it was an alien spaceship or a natural object, one thing is certain. It piqued our interest and inspired us to continue looking for solutions and investigating the unknown. I hope you liked this video. If so, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more science, space, and technology material. If you have any opinions or suggestions about Oumuamua, please share them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.